Hey, what's going on, guys? It's King Tuts Pro, and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, guys. In today's tutorial, I want to explain how to use the events, the projects, and the library in Final Cut Pro 10 because I haven't actually done an in depth tutorial on how to do this and how to stay organized with your footage, whether it be actual videos, music, or pictures, because of course you guys can import that kind of media into Final Cut Pro 10, and how to actually organize your clips and just stay organized so it's not all over the place when you're editing and stuff like that. Because I know a lot of people like to, you know, edit their films or short films, their music videos, their beauty videos, their vlogs, and sometimes, oh, especially with vlogs, that can be a pain in the butt to actually look for your footage and have it organized. So what a project is, pretty much a project is where you can, uh, it's like creating like a little canvas and putting all of your videos in that little canvas to work on. The event is kind of like the folder, everything that's kept in that uh, every, you know, the project is stored in the event, and that event is kind of like literally what it says in event. It just kind of helps keep with dates and stuff like that. The library is what is all kept together in, in a little, it's like a little uh, hard drive, right? So we have the project, which is within the event, and the event is within the library. And then uh, you guys can create a new library if you want to start something completely different. If you're going to do like a whole movie, you don't want it to be in an event or any project. Before I do that, we're going to go into the left side here and you're going to have something maybe called Untitled. If you click on that, so as you can see, we now created a library where we can have everything stored within Smart Collections, the event, and then we have two events here. And then within that event, I'm going to click on this, we should have another project um, which is called Apps right here and you might have other ones. So you guys are probably wondering, well, where is the library stored if I ever wanted to delete it? Because the libraries is what everything is kept in and that can take up a lot of space. If I go into file, new, and I click on event always because I don't want it to be all mixed up in the same, when I import videos and pictures and stuff, it will go up in here and I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna click on new event and I'm gonna name this tutorial event. If we go to file, new, and we click on event, this is going to go create a new event. I'm going to name this event. And then the library, it tells you which library you want it to save it to. Currently, I only have one, as you can see, and it's called library 2017. But if you want to create a um, another library, then you're going to have to do that before you create a new event. It also gives you the option to create a new project. So whenever you're creating a new event, it gives you this option to create a new project. We're going to go to the new event, as you can see. So these with the little star or little star icons, those are the events. And within that event, we have a project. Currently, it's called Untitled Project. So if we click on it, we can change the project name. So we're just going to name this Project Tutorial. And now we can get started in importing media or whatever we want to add. Now, you guys are probably wondering, like I said, where is the library stored? Just go onto the finder. And in here, we're going to go onto the, uh, usually it should be on the devices like this on your hard drive. And then go to users, go to your actual drive, and go to the movies folder. Sometimes your movies won't be shown in the sidebar. So go to finder, go to preferences, and then go into the sidebar option and check movies. And it should be checked. And then here you can see uh, all the documents that is stored within Final Cut Pro 10. So we have the Final Cut backups. So if anything were to happen, and I'm going to go ahead and just choose like some pictures. So I have some pictures of my friend here that I took uh, in downtown. And uh, I'm just going to pick a couple. So over here is where we can add the existing event. So right here is where we can add or send the files that we have here that we have currently selected to add it to the events that we have created already. So as we've seen um, a little bit, we have the tutorial event that we've created not too long ago, and we have two other events as well. We can't add it already to the library because literally we're in that library, so it just it just takes you to like a subfolder, which is the event library. In this case, the tutorial event. We have the next option, which is create a new library, and this will allow you to create a new library with the selected items. And let's say we just want it to do photo shoot instead. So we don't get mixed up with the tutorial event event. The keywords, this is very important. Um, you guys can check these or uncheck them. Usually they are checked for you know organization purposes. So we have from finder tags and from folders. Just keep it how it is. Audio rolls. So if we have a audio roll, whether it be dialogue, effects, or music, 
then if you've assigned a role already, then you guys can uh, just select only the music that is set as that role. But we're just gonna go with automatically. You only wanna use transcoding when your video or whenever you think the video may not be optimized, if that makes sense. So it just makes it more suitable for Final Cut Pro 10 so you can edit smoothly. The proxy media creates copies, uh, like I said, for a smaller, smaller size so you guys can edit faster. So here I have a couple of pictures that I've taken downtown of my friend here, pretty cool shots, and I shot it with Canon 70D. From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new project. So right click on that event and click on new project. And here we're gonna go ahead and just give it a name. Uh, this is so you guys can just stay organized. I'm just gonna name it photo shoot, photo shoots. Click okay, and then now I can be more organized within this project. So maybe I wanna drag this up here and it sometimes will give you this option that says the video properties the video properties of this clip are not recognized and you want to go ahead and just click okay so it automatically changes to that and the reason if you guys don't do that you're going to have choppy video cuz the frame rate won't match so i'm just going to go ahead and just drag this bit over here as well all right guys so for any reason you guys disconnect or you change the location of the files you might get an error like a red error with a triangle and if you go to file and you go, or sorry, if you go to uh, file and you go to the relink files, this will give you the option to find missing files. And once it locates one file, it will locate where, wherever the other files are. If you if you have more than one and just click on relink files and that will allow you to get rid of that issue. So this is a very kind of basic, but also in an in-depth tutorial on how to use the library events and the project settings kind of so if you found this tutorial helpful please leave a like that'd be awesome so if you found this video awesome be sure to leave a like comment and just share this video that's really what I want you guys to do just share the video and I'll be happy please so peace out